Did you know that Lithuania has been inhabited since 10,000 BC, yet it was one of the last countries in Europe to be Christianized? This Baltic gem has a rich history stretching back to the Paleolithic era, with fascinating Neolithic and Bronze Age chapters. The first written record of Lithuania surfaces in 1009 AD, a testament to its enduring legacy. Now, let's delve into the medieval times, a period of great significance for Lithuania. In the 14th century, Lithuania became a major player in Europe. It was during this time that the region transformed into the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, a monarchical federation that would leave an indelible mark on history. The formation of the Grand Duchy was no small feat. It was a process that involved strategic alliances, diplomatic negotiations, and yes, a fair share of battles. From its humble beginnings as a group of Baltic tribes, the Grand Duchy expanded its borders, growing in power and influence. It stretched from the Baltic Sea in the west to the Black Sea in the south, making it one of the largest countries in Europe at the time. One of the pivotal moments in the Grand Duchy's history was its union with Poland in the late 14th century. This union of two nations, as it was known, was a political arrangement that brought together two of the most influential states in Eastern Europe. This union was a strategic move that would shape the future of both nations for centuries to come. Now, no tale of the Grand Duchy would be complete without the mention of the Battle of Grunwald. It was one of the most significant and largest battles of medieval Europe, where the combined forces of Poland and Lithuania triumphed over the Teutonic Knights. This victory marked a turning point, solidifying the Grand Duchy's power in the region. At the heart of these triumphs was a figure of great importance, Vytautas the Great. Vytautas was the Grand Duke of Lithuania from 1392 to 1430, and his reign was marked by the duchy's greatest expansion. He was a skilled military leader, a shrewd diplomat, and a beloved ruler. His efforts not only helped shape the Grand Duchy but also left a lasting legacy that is still celebrated today. From a Grand Duchy to a Commonwealth, let's explore what the next centuries held for Lithuania. The 18th century was a time of change and turmoil for Lithuania. As we delve into this era, we journey into a period marked by the decline of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, a once powerful entity that had commanded vast territories across Central and Eastern Europe. Its gradual dissolution was a process of three partitions, orchestrated by the neighboring powers of Russia, Prussia, and Austria. The partitions, which took place in the latter part of the 18th century, resulted in the complete disappearance of the Commonwealth from the map of Europe. Lithuania, once a luminary in the Grand Theater of the Commonwealth, was swept into the Russian Empire's sphere of influence. This marked the beginning of a century-long Russian occupation, a period shadowed by attempts at Russification. The Russian authorities endeavored to assimilate Lithuania, to dilute its distinct language, culture, and identity within the vast expanse of the Russian Empire. Lithuanian books were banned, their language relegated to the confines of the home, and Russian was enforced as the language of administration and education. Yet, despite these attempts to extinguish its cultural flame, Lithuania's spirit remained resilient. The people clung to their language, traditions, and customs, resisting the forceful tide of Russification. They held on to their Lithuanian books, passing them from hand to hand in secret, ensuring the survival of their language and culture. This resilience manifested in the form of the Lithuanian National Revival, a cultural and political movement in the 19th century. It was an era marked by a resurgence of Lithuanian culture, a rekindling of national consciousness, and a burgeoning desire for autonomy. The Russian occupation was indeed a challenging period for Lithuania, a time of struggle and resistance. Yet, it was also a testament to the enduring spirit of the Lithuanian people, their unyielding commitment to their cultural heritage, and their unwavering aspiration for independence. Despite the challenges, Lithuanians maintained their spirit of independence, which we will explore next. The 20th century marked a turning point for Lithuania. In the early part of the century, Lithuania found itself amidst a world in turmoil. The aftermath of World War I offered an opportunity for change. In 1918, amidst the chaos, Lithuania seized the chance to establish itself as an independent nation. This was a moment of great pride and joy for the Lithuanian people. They had their own nation, their own identity, their own sense of self. However, this newfound freedom was not to last. With the onset of World War II, Lithuania, like many other nations, fell under the oppressive shadow of occupation. The country was first occupied by the Soviet Union, then Nazi Germany, 
and then once again by the Soviets. These were dark and trying times for the Lithuanian people, but they never lost hope. And then, in the late 20th century, came a time of great change. The winds of freedom were blowing across Eastern Europe, and Lithuania was ready to seize the moment once again. In the 1980s, the singing revolution began. This peaceful protest movement, characterized by mass demonstrations of song, united the people of Lithuania in their desire for freedom. In 1989, the Baltic Way further exemplified this spirit of unity and defiance. Over two million people from Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania joined hands in a human chain that stretched over 600 kilometers. This act of peaceful protest was a powerful symbol of their shared desire for independence. And finally, in 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare its independence. It was a hard-won victory, a testament to the resilience and determination of the Lithuanian people. They had once again claimed their place as a free and independent nation. From a nation under occupation to a free country, Lithuania has certainly come a long way. Today, Lithuania is a vibrant country with a rich cultural heritage. A remarkable blend of history and modernity, Lithuania has gracefully evolved into a thriving nation in Northern Europe. At the heart of Lithuania's economy is a resilient spirit, powered by industries like biotechnology, lasers, and information technology. Lithuania is also a global leader in fintech, boasting one of the fastest growing fintech sectors in the European Union. This Baltic gem is not only an economic powerhouse, but also a member of the European Union and North Atlantic Treaty Organization, standing tall amongst the world's most developed nations. Culture in Lithuania is a vibrant tapestry of traditions and contemporary influences. The country's cultural heritage is deeply rooted in music, art, and literature, with a special fondness for folk songs and dances. Every summer, the Song and Dance Celebration, a unique event included in the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage, brings together thousands of singers, dancers, and spectators from across the country. Moreover, Lithuanian literature, embellished with tales of heroic past and hopeful future, has gained international recognition, with several Lithuanian authors being translated into numerous languages. Lithuania's tourism is a delightful fusion of nature and architecture. The country's landscapes are a paradise for nature lovers, with national parks, forests, and lakes offering a peaceful retreat. Meanwhile, architecture enthusiasts can marvel at the stunning Baroque, Gothic, Renaissance, and neoclassical buildings sprinkled across the country. The capital city, Vilnius, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its old town with well-preserved medieval architecture. Lithuanian cuisine is another treat for visitors. Traditional dishes like tepelinai, a potato-based dumpling, and salty barshai, a cold beet soup, offer a unique taste of the country's culinary heritage. From a historical perspective, Lithuania has proven to be a resilient and dynamic country. Today, it stands proud, celebrating its past while embracing the future, a testament to its enduring spirit and charm. In the past nine minutes, we've traveled through thousands of years of Lithuanian history. We've journeyed from the mysterious origins of Lithuania, through the grandeur of the duchy, the trials of occupation, the courageous fight for independence, to the vibrant present day. We've glimpsed the spirit of a nation that has stood resilient through the centuries, a testament to their courage and cultural richness. Every country has its unique story, and Lithuania's tale is one of resilience, courage, and enduring cultural richness. Who knows what the future holds for this remarkable country?